hello guys welcome back to another video so in the previous video some of you guys requested to make a video around customization of the swift ui list specifically how to remove uh, the borders the lines that show up in every item in the list and also how to customize the color of the selection of an item in the list so let's look at how you can make a simple list without any lines or separators and how to customize the selection color so first of all let's create a fruit model so we can denote various fruits the fruit model will have id and name as two properties and we also need to adhere to an identifiable protocol so that the list can identify our fruits individually. So let's create our fruits array uh, with three fruits, apple, mango and orange. Now let's move on to creating a list. So we'll say list for each fruits and we will take the fruit as the parameter in the block and we will make a text view out of fruits name. And if we resume our preview on the right, we can see uh, all three fruits listed in a list, Swift so UI list. And we can also see that we can scroll this list. Now let's try to remove the separators between the items in the list. So for that, let's use a list style called sidebar list style that will remove the separators between items in the list. Now let's try to uh, make our items in the list look good. So we will have a background color in each item a blue background color uh, and a white foreground color for the text. We will also uh, add a corner radius of 10 in each item so they look nice. Now let's move on to implementing the selection of the items in the list. So for that we will create a state called selected fruit and that will store the selected item in the list. We will use list row background color uh, and uh, use a condition that if the selected fruit is equal to the fruit that we are on, uh, it will show a background of uh, transparent blue. And we will also style the transparent blue color with a corner radius so it looks nice. And we will use system grouped background color as the normal background color so it blends with the background of the app. As you can see we got an error saying that uh, our model does not uh, adhere to equatable so we cannot use this condition of equal to. So let's go back to our model and make it adhere to creatable. And now we will uh, implement on tab gesture handler so that when you tap on an item in the list, it will be selected.
so we added some corner radius to the selection uh, color so that it looks nice and because uh, we are using tertiary condition and both the arguments on the, of the tertiary operator should be same so we need to add the uh, corner radius to both the colors as you can see in the preview our selection is working nicely and let's check the dark mode if we have any issues there and it seems to work on the dark mode as well but if you if you see like uh, there's a uh, artifacts showing at the corners uh, so we will need to remove the corner radius from the uh, system grouped background color so that that artifacts go away so just a closer look at the artifact that was showing before uh, if we change the corner radius to 10 again you can see that the, the background of the app is visible uh, through those corner radius so that's why we need to use a zero corner radius on the system back, grouped background color and now it is working pretty well in both light mode and the dark mode That's all I had for this video. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you have any thoughts, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.